That was close. Too close. We brought that trouble on ourselves. By we, you mean me. The one me who went and shot him. Seemed like he deserved shooting. I'm sure he did. But I've been thinking, ain't it about time you stop being the man making them decisions? I'm trying. Are you? I think so. We gotta find some place to lay low. Keep quiet. <sighs> Maybe Dutch was right. Maybe we should have just gone to Tahiti. Is that it with you? Tahiti or killing? Come on, John. Please, try. Try what? We gotta live somewhere for more than just a few weeks. Okay. Let's see what we can find in... in Strawberry. What do you know about Strawberry? I know they like good, honest, hard-working men a whole lot more than angry killers. So make yourself good and honest. I am always honest. Maybe not always good. But I'm always honest. My whole life I've been surrounded by fools with moral codes. Here's the moral code. Look out for folks. Stop trying to act like some hero in a book. What do you know about heroes and books? My reading's getting pretty good. Well, read different books then. The books is Jack's. And, well, maybe he's doing most of the reading, but still. You're a bad influence on your mother, boy. Boy? Sorry, sir. What was that? I said you're a bad influence. On your mother. With your books. Which books was that? You know, that dime novel, or Boy Calloway and the Men from the Moon, or whatever it was. I'll do my best to find better reading material, Bob. Is that what you like, then? Western tales? Boy. What's that, sir? Do you enjoy tales of the Wild West? Not so much. Anymore. I've been reading about knights. You know, of the round table. The king. What's his name? There's King Arthur. And there's Sir Lancelot. And the Lady Guinevere. And a whole lot of others. Those names. I kind of like them. You know what? So do I. I bet that sign says strawberry, don't it? I got a good feeling about this place. Been a long time. Just here. I'm gonna go see what kind of good, honest work I can find. Grave digging or polishing some rich fella's boots or some such. Me too. See if me and the boy can find some laundry work or something. Help you, son? I'm hoping I can help you. I saw the help wanted sign outside. Sure, but uh, you're a bit old to be stacking groceries and running errands, ain't you, son? Well, uh, I ain't too proud to do nothing. Mm. As long as it's honest and it pays. <laughs> <laughs> Time's hard, Mr. Uh, uh, Milton. Jim Milton. Mm. Yeah, my wife and I and our boy, we was robbed mm. a few days ago. Lucky to get out with our lives, we was. Now, uh... Well, we need money. Yeah, there's bad folk out there. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about it. Got a it. wagon by any chance? Uh, sure. Well, then maybe you could run some goods up to Pronghorn Ranch for me. You know, uh, head west past Owen Gila, then follow the road north, lead you right there. I, I don't know where that is, but I'm sure I can find it. I can leave right now if it, you'd like. It's Getty's place. Fine fella. Uh, where's the wagon? It's just outside. Um, you know, I should go tell my wife, and then I can come back and get loaded. No, oh, my boys can load you up while you go find your wife. Okay.
doctor. Hey, <laughs> how you getting on? I well, found some work. Me too. Delivering goods out to some ranch. Cleaning a doctor's surgery. Fine living. It is, John. Oh, it is. This is the way to it. I'll take your word on that. Well, what do you suggest now? I'll stay here. Get on with the work. You deliver them goods and then collect me. Okay. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. Not ever now. I won't. past Owen Gila, then follow the road north. Okay.
You Mr. Geddes? No, sir. I'm Mr. Dickens, his overseer. Jim Milton. I'm delivering some supplies from the store in Strawberry. Okay. This is quite a place. Yes, it's beautiful. Oh. They send everything? Yeah, I think so. So, partner, your boss, he looking for hands? Why? You looking for work? Yeah. My wife, losing business with her family and turned sour. It's long story. Yeah, I don't know. Married hands. It's a lot of trouble. I'm a good worker. My wife, Agatha, even our boy, Lancelot. We'll all work. Big man around, boy? Get the hell out of here. <laughs> now, that ain't very neighborly. And threatening us is neighborly. <laughs> hey, mind if I enjoy one of these apples? Put that down. <laughs> Delicious. Oh, <laughs> when's uh, Boss Man gonna sell this place, boy? I don't think there's any plans for that. You boys want a drink? It's some fine scotch whiskey. Put that down. Put that down. Oh, these supplies for the season. Get off the farm. Come on. <laughs> we know when we're not wanted. Get down from there. Yeah. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Bye, bud. <laughs> you come back here. You can use that horse. Go easy on him. We can't have trouble here. <laughs> That's my damn wagon. Who's a good girl? Thank you. Milton, isn't it? Those boys are out of Laramie, work for Mr. Abel. Thank you. Don't mention it. Listen, I ain't looking for no charity or nothing, but I was serious. You got work? We'll work. I can do anything. We got... We got robbed ourselves a few days back. We ain't got married hands here. You're married. I work harder than any one of them. I'm real honest, and my wife... Even though she's got fancy thoughts, she'll work. Seem kind of desperate. What trouble you in? No trouble, sir. Aside from her brother. He tricked us and robbed her of her inheritance. We're good people. We'll work. Even Lancelot. <laughs> what does Mr. Geddes need with a boy? Just another mouth to feed. Just please give us a chance. I can handle myself, okay? You know that already. Yeah. Makes me wonder just who would have robbed you. But we'll give you a chance. I'll let Mr. Geddes know when him and his wife return tomorrow. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. I'll go get my wife. Nah, no, you stay here. It's getting late. We'll go get her in Strawberry. We'll bring her here tomorrow. We need you around in case any more of them Laramie boys turns up. There's a, a little cabin out yonder past the ranch house. If things work out, y'all can stay there. Thank you. You'll not regret this. Yep. Go get yourself settled. We'll have work for you tomorrow when Mr. Geddes returns.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeezby, and we are playing Red Dead Redemption 2. I hope you guys enjoyed the Chapter 6 finale. I know I did. And right now we are playing John Marston. It is a... I'm not sure how many years into the future, actually. No, it doesn't matter. It's years into the future. Because Jack is now a teenager. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's in the future. Anyway, he found some work on a farm, good honest work, and we are going to continue the story. This is epilogue one. Yeah, look at that. Pew! It's so beautiful. I love this game. So glad. I'm so glad. No, it's wrong. I'm so sad. Yeah, it's coming to an end. Alright, we're gonna go to this storyline um mission that ah! Give me a... oh, I needed to stay on the farm uh, Give me a... no no Milton get over here Mr. Geddes, this is the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You oh, and Mr. No. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest. You'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Oh, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. Oh, you slipped up, John. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is that your family getting in the morning, wagon up there? Ah, I believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. Pretty sure it's seven years. I hear that. Could be wrong. I don't know. Mrs. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kind of... It's fine. But I hear you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. I was going to milk the cows. Come on. I'll do it. You? Are gonna milk the cows? Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I, I thought you was, uh... I'm a ranch hand. A new one, at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know, up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything, the ranches. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. Say, if it ain't too personal a question, are you a gunslinger, mister? <laughs> Good lord, no. Nothing like that. Yeah. Just a ranch hand then. 
Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. Let's milk a cow. I know these parts of the ep epilogue are um, very tedious, and uh, yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. A little boring. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, <laughs> never really get the hang of it. You serious, Mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprises. <laughs> Probably not. Down, down, down. You got down. the hang of it. Almost got a pail full. I'm sure it takes a lot longer than that to milk an actual cow. But that's just me. Hey, Pa. Is that your boy? Sure. <laughs> hey, Lancelot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your Pa yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch and learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy, uh, help me clean out the stables? Alright. Sure. Come on, son. How old are you now, Lancelot? Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand. It's such a fine name. I like it. Yeah, I think... I got... I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now, it ain't pleasant work, but it's got Seven be years. Done. Mr. Dickens said... I know what he said. We'll do it. Won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Okay. Jack, let's just... try and take some pride in this work. Hard as it may be. Boy. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. Scooping up shit. Yes. Hold on a You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's ranch now. Sorry, <laughs> sir. Nothing. Oh. It splashes. <laughs> Hold on. I think your mother's hiding somewhere, laughing at us. This horse shit. <laughs> Return the picture for job done. Say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Lancelot. It's like really, Dad. Really, Lancelot. It's the best you can come up with. He's talking about King Arthur. Hey. Hey. 
Where's Jack? Shoveling shit. In pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, well, you know. Me too. Oh. They've been through a lot. Blah, blah, blah. They've been through a lot. For sure. I miss Arthur, though. I miss Arthur a lot. I'll put some coffee on. Is always yes. Okay. There were storyline missions. We're gonna go to the TD because it's flashing at us. <clears throat> flashing at us. I hope you guys are also enjoying My Life is Strange 2 walkthroughs. I'm so excited to be doing those. And let me know in the comments below if you enjoy them. And if you enjoy this. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? He's sure. like a younger know version of fence Uncle. Building? That Not works. Really. Can't build a fence. Can't milk a cow. Ain't used to shoveling shits. But took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? Mm. I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful. But I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word. And also to believe this is a free country. So free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. That's right. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Okay. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Ah, oh, that's super simple. It's just laborious work. Good. Fine. That's it. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. That looks okay. Negative I hope individual. You the basics. I got other matters to attend to, but. There's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Sounds good, man. You do that. Beautiful. Good job, John. Jim Mill, over here. Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Stop yelling at me like that. Quick as you can. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come I'm here. Know much about bulls, Milton? No. Uh, just the basics. 
Don't make him mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton, Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Come on, move! Oh, oh, oh. Jesus! Oh, shit! I'll get him. Get a rope on him, Milton, and try and calm him down. What am I doing? I gotta build that. No, you don't. Oh shit! Ow, that hurt. Don't hit me. Gotcha. You need to calm down. Whoa. Don't hit me. Ah! Okay. Come on. Now, boy, all better. Okay. <laughs> now, come on, you hunk of Chuck. Easy. Don't get no ideas. Got him. I got Dickens. messed up, Good. man. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, Mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. Jeez. See you later, Jim Milton. Don't right. make a rancher of you yet. Well, she got ran over. Woo, that looked like it hurt. Hey. Aw. I'll get the coffee on. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. I'm cleaning at the doctor's office. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. <laughs> Living the dream. All right. Wait. Is that Arthur's satchel? Whoa! Oh, it is Arthur's satchel. Ah. Oh. Still got the two gold bars, holy cheez -its. Huh. Look at that. Well, alright. No, no, no.
Aww. Being back in this country made me dig up Arthur's old journal again. Odd few years wandering, now back here. This country that we ran to when things went crazy all those years ago. My mind is full of ghosts. Been a tough few years. Jack don't like me and Abigail can't stand me. Or is it the reverse? Kill the fella because he looked at me funny. Abigail wants me to settle down. Uh, to what? Everything I've... His handwriting is weird. Okay. There we go. Everything I've tried has gone wrong for so long now and I'm back in old country. Well, I guess the north didn't turn out so good. So now I'm a farmhand until I lose my temper again, I guess. Working at a place called Pronghorn Ranch. They seem to like me because I'm big and nasty and they surely ain't. And some local tough guys seem to know they ain't. Well, I guess Abigail can't have everything, but she won't be able to deny I've at least got a normal job. That's it! Aw, oh, I finished it. Not finished it. He added to it. That's so nice. I miss Arthur. Coming. I'm coming. I said, Abe, yes, where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to full, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Okay. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Hey, since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. Hmm. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. <laughs> Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. Yeah. So, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, uh okay then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get to I got an inkling what it goes into town for, but, uh, I don't know. All right. Moving forward. Calm down, calm down, calm down. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. You need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you, you sure about, about that? that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> Settle down, okay? That's hey. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <laughs> <sighs> well, Calm down. <sighs> he likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but... I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <sighs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Hey, fella. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. All right. The fun part. Come on. Where's that big mean horse? Let's get a lather up. Come 
spit it all out of me. All right, good boy. You ain't gonna give us no trouble now. for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. <laughs> Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. <laughs> Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh. Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All Thanks. Right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... but... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. coming. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. <laughs> You're gonna be a rancher yet, John Marston. So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. Uh. It's not too hard. You just to uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. <laughs> I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. No. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh. You're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah. We we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of okay. Course. Good day, Mr. Milton. That was awkward. I don't like awkward. 
Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on, please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet, you know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's, Let's go. go for a walk. Come on. He's like, oh, you people. <laughs> Round to the left. What do you see? The pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? Uh. No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream. Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. <laughs> Aww. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Confident. Yep. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Well, this is nice. See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mile? Okay. This is a good pace. We're going to stick with this pace. You know? Uh, this ain't so bad, sir. Good. <laughs> Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. That's a cute little horse. <sighs> it's been a long week. I hope all there. of you hope had so. a great week. Okay. Let's go across to the street. Yes, sir. You ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! <laughs> I'm winning! 
go Are you still back there? <laughs> it's good for him to have this time of the sun though. Last straight. Come on. Hey up. Not gonna win. I'm gonna let him win, obviously. It's only fair. Son. <laughs> I beat you. Like I said, you're riding. It's gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What is going on? I can't get on my horse, so. Oh, I have a gun. Only thing he needs to decide is what he loses before he sails. <gasps> Jesus! You want to watch your mouth, boy? You will be the first one we kill. You Leave him alone. Dick. <laughs> oh, careful, boys! Careful! Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get? He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. Said he had some problems with vermin. <laughs> oh, listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, come on, get him. Oh, kick his head in, boss. Ooh. Yeah. Hold on. Give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Well, John's just giving his past away, but we that's what he is. Master, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Hmm. Da 
judge his voice. Now, dear, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, I should like yes. to have a word with you. Mr. Okay. Gaddis? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I miss Mr. Pearson. John <laughs> Marston, you're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. <laughs> Uh, Pearson. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. Whoa! What, what the hell? That? What are you? What are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh my God! Who's this? New hand? Okay, boys. Let's go. <laughs> you know that offer? It is win. I lost my win. Come on. There we go. We're they taking your stuff. Mr. Tobert. Oh, shit. And they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a nice yeah, guy. Me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... I... What are you doing? My job, Abigail. He told him to. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah! Yeah! Right. Done with this shit. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Okay. If you say so. Huh. <laughs> That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah. There's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. Oh, well. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. Go, go. Not really. Uh, okay. 
I gotta get behind something. Where's everybody at? God damn, they're in the barn. Look out. Come out of hide, dude. Find these guys. Where are they coming from? Hey, Aim for the face. There we go. They're there. Come on. Don't gunsling your music, I love it. It's great. You're like hiding the wrong way. Ooh, you're lucky. Oh, there's one more. Uh, where, where? I got this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. You're the fella that said something about my wife. Piss digging, shit shoveling, backwoods, sacka, no good. Get off me. Damn it! Beat his ass, dude. That's a oh, fuck you! Sorry, pardon my language. <laughs> Try not to say that word very often. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first in sheet dip, get the... Goodbye.
That was intense. Pardon my language. I dropped an F-bomb. I apologize. Try not to do that very often, just in case, like, younger ears are watching this, which I know there's cursing in this game and a lot of violence, and I just shot someone in the face with a sawed-off shotgun, but I personally don't want to be the one that the cuss words are coming from, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Set some sort of example, I guess, I don't know. Something like that. <sighs> hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. Sweet. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. See anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. We'll do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. Uh, I understand. You get some rest. <laughs> thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? Get that look off what your face. What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? They're gonna have to get over it. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Aww. Always got Arthur in his ear. Which is a good person to have. Get known. Surviving. Fatherhood for idiots. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was. I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Hmm. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lance a lot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. I'm just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on, get. You take care now. Of course. 
All right. Well, this is where I'm going to end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and please hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and please subscribe to the channel if you are enjoying the content. I upload new videos every single day. Thanks, guys. Bye.